the firmware for the X32, one of the new features that we get is the ability to have custom lock screens and custom boot screens. The accompanied readme file comes with the basic instructions that you need to build the file. In that file, there's also a, a template that you can use. The, the, the basic requirements that we have is that they must be named custom boot.bmp uh, or custom lock.bmp, depending on what you're trying to achieve. It has to be a bitmap, it has to be 8 bit indexed mode, it cannot be RGB. And the size uh, must be between 10 pixels by 10 pixels and 799 by 399. Obviously, we'd recommend using the, the biggest possible so that you get the clearest view that you can. So, if we just uh, copy our files over to a USB stick, uh, we can then move over to the console and load those files on. So, with our USB stick in, we press the setup menu. And as you can see, we're running 4.02, and we want to reboot the console with our USB stick uh, in to load the custom boot and custom lock screens. As you can see, we've got our new boot screen. And if we press and hold home to lock the console, you'll see we get our custom lock screen as well. It's also worth noting that to have a custom boot screen or a custom lock screen, the USB drive must be inserted into the X30 or M32 consoles. The next time you re reboot without the USB stick, the custom boot image or lock screen won't be there.